Setting up of stands and pop-ups, my gosh, that's one of my favorite things. I can drive around all day long. In fact, I think I probably drive a lot of our team nuts because I'm always driving around. I'm looking like this. I'm running into trees and backing into trees. Hey, let's look at that. I'm bailing out and running off in the bushes. And they're like, oh, no, here goes Wade on another goose chase. He's, he's seen a tree. And, uh, man, I just love that. I just think that's the coolest thing. And what I'm, what I'm doing in my mind is I'm envisioning, I'm painting that picture of what's going to happen somewhere down the road, you know, whether we're throwing a ladder stand up, a tripod up, throwing a pop-up up, up um, that on this wind and this condition at this time of the year, we're going to get something big coming down this field. And sometimes I totally whiff it, and we have to go move that because we've never seen a deer there. We get busted, but sometimes we get it right. And it's when you get it right and you find those, unique places that just pay off and and create the perfect scenario to where the cameraman can be over the shoulder and and uh, you can get those shots and you know the things that i'm looking for in those situations are a tree that's going to provide you know good cover uh, for me and a camera guy sometimes me a camera guy and a guide you know in that situation i, I want good cover behind us where we're not skylighted um, you know, leafy backdrops in the early season, but be thinking about December when all the leaves are gone, what's it gonna look like? Where's my prevailing wind? What is the winds that are gonna be good to hunt this? Um, you know, the best trees in the world may, may not be the best place to hunt because the wind isn't gonna work or the tree are too far from the trail or the water source or the feed source, whatever it may be. And then what kind of stand is gonna work there? Um, I love ladder stands. Um, I think they're really a good, unique, comfortable way to hunt. Uh, tripods are another phenomenal way that you can go up and you can kind of turn those. They, they generally are gonna have a you know, great rail for shooters to be able to sit in. The hang-on stand is still arguably the most versatile one that you're gonna find out there. And then of course, there's the pop-ups and the box blinds. I mean, the multitude of options when it comes to setting up stands in, a, in various locations are endless and, and so maybe that's why when I drive down the road I'm always running into trees and looking around because I'm always looking for a place for another stand uh, and to create a new adventure and a new place to hunt. It's always fun to find new potential locations and kind of visualize how they're going to come together. We've got a uh, Spring Fred Creek with a little pool right here below us and uh, really pretty. Uh, kind of a unique feature in this part of Texas. And then we're up on top of the creek bank right here. And it's a really well used trail. You can see it right here. And what we've done is kind of come back here on this side and put some uh, tripods up kind of off the, off the trail for a later in the year. Actually be an early season hunt if you really think about it, uh, type of scenario. The sun will be setting over here, so it'll be real dark. The canopies will be full. so. Uh, you know, you're planning right now for future hunts. It could be a month, it could be six months from now when you get the right conditions. But all that planning, all that preparation, Goodwill, use trail, water source, uh, it'll pay off down the road.